Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we'll be taking a look at Gboard versus Samsung Keyboard. Now, both of these keyboards are used right now inside of Samsung Messages, so it's the exact same messaging app, but just a different keyboard. So Gboard is a free download you can get. It is on the Play Store, made by Google, and once you type in Gboard, you're able to get it installed and downloaded. Now, switching between the two are actually very simple. It's this little icon on the bottom left-hand side. Once you tap on that little keyboard, you're originally going to be placed in Samsung Keyboard, but once you go to the very top after you install Gboard, you have this option here. Now, I also have Swift Key, but I have not used this for a few years. This is gonna be a future video doing a comparison, trying to see which one I like out of the three. But today is a neutral video because there are benefits of Gboard I love and benefits of the Samsung keyboard I love. Now, first off, when it comes down to the Gboard, the things I love about Gboard is that the options of GIFs are so much easier to actually scroll through and go by each individual category by doing a little swipe. You can go up and down and you can find some really good gifts that you're able to share your emotions and, and everything else with someone else. When it comes down to Samsung's keyboard, you go inside of gifts, you're not really able to swipe left or right, but you will have your trending tab, you have happy, uh, you can still scroll up and down with all of these. You have the search button, which this one also has the search on the top, but I feel like going through the different GIFs is gonna be a little bit easier on the Gboard. So if you're somebody who uses GIFs all the time and you need it to be a little bit easier of a situation, head over inside of Gboard. Now, before we go more in depth on the Gboard versus the Samsung keyboard, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate what you see, make sure you hit on that subscribe button because about 83% of you watching this video is not subscribed. So hit that little subscribe, it is free to join this party. And don't forget about that bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. About 17% of you is doing that. I don't want you to miss a future update. Now, since we're still talking a little bit about Gboard here, another thing I love is when you go inside of the settings, you have quite a bit more customization you're able to do with some of the preferences and the themes. I mean, their text correction is still pretty good. Their glide typing, which is Samsung's swipe, you know, swipe and glide typing does a fantastic job. I feel like Gboard has a better swipe but Samsung has a better text prediction. I feel like it does a better job at predicting as well as doing a correction. But over here, when it comes down to the customizations and preferences, let's say you go inside of theme, there's just so many things you're able to do to make your keyboard look a little bit different. You can even hit on show more. So this is where you have solid colors and then an accented color. The one that I'm using down here is a dark gradient. And when you go to show more, it's gonna be this one right here. So I have blue everywhere and then a little bit of green right there. So it looks really good on the keyboard and it pops out. You're not really able to do a lot of that. When you have style and layout, you have a high contrast keyboard, but that just brings a really bright yellow keyboard. It doesn't really help that that much or it doesn't look really cool. Uh, you can change the modes, which you can do it on Gboard as well. So you can have standard keyboard, unless if you want it to be floating or one hand mode. Uh, you also have you know keyboard layout so it's looking the same over here. One of the high points of the Samsung keyboard, just because we're going straight to the point here, when it comes down to the Samsung keyboard, it's gonna be underneath the smart typing. Now underneath the smart typing, predictive text I feel is a little bit better. Also the, the, the word uh, replacement is a little bit better. So if I type something wrong, it'll actually put in the correct word a little bit better, but it's gonna be this text shortcut. Text shortcut is a major one for me because when you go through and you need to send somebody your address for them to maybe review a product, I have a PO box and all I do here is I type in the word Addy boom, done, it's already put in there and people are able to send something over. So this just makes it really easy and simple. So the Gboard over here does not allow that opportunity to do text replacement where you put in a word and then a full word kind of comes in. You do have voice typing you can do. This one also has voice typing that is sitting right there. Uh, you have glide typing, which is the same as swipe over here. You have text correction that can fix a few things. And then preferences. There's a lot going on inside of the preferences over here, but that's just some of the main you know, settings on this side. So you can see your keyboard height and one-handed mode. Same thing here, here's your keyboard size, and then you also have modes here, which will give you your one-handed mode and such like that. So it, it's kind of placed in different areas. 
But I would say the biggest things dealing with these two here will be the look that you get with your keyboard when you go through your preferences and you can choose the way you want it to look. You can't really do a lot of that over here, but the functionality over on this side when it comes down to the predictive text, and I feel like it does a little bit better of that, as well as that text shortcuts helps a ton. Now looking at the icons right here, you can see that they're gonna be pretty similar. So right over here, you have your stickers, your GIF, this right here is going to be your stickers and GIF. Down here on the keyboard is where all your little emojis are. This one's gonna be sitting right up on here on the very top left hand side. You also have your settings as well as the speech. This is your settings and speech. And then you also have the more and more. So you are able to move these around if you want them to go in a different order. So you are able to do that. But I do have to say that the Samsung keyboard will allow you to actually put more icons on the top. So if you would like, Let's say for example, your, your clipboard to be on the very top, you can move it up here. And you can also even move your Bitmoji up here. Now, when you try to move anything over here, you're limited to this many icons. So you're not able to add more than what you actually see. When you try to go inside of here, it'll actually just switch and flip them. And then the very last thing I wanna show you is when you go inside of all your different icons with your little symbols. So right over here, you're gonna notice a few different differences of where they're actually all located. So it is gonna be one of those things that you kinda of have to get used to. So question mark and then exclamation point. This one's the exclamation point and then the question mark. Your at symbols are also placed a little bit different just because this one was kind of moved up a little bit. This one just shows a little bit more icons that you're able to use. You're gonna to have to cycle through all the different pages over here just because there's only two rows of icons uh, this one actually has three rows of icons so it kind of depends on which one you're familiar with um, also if you try a different keyboard you will actually get used to it pretty quick because keyboard is something that you use on a daily basis when it comes down to a touchscreen smartphone so I hope you kind of like this video here, a comparison of Gboard versus Samsung keyboard. Some of the benefits over here is going to be the way that it looks along with sending and, and receiving gifts. Over here, one of the main uh, benefits is gonna be having more icons on the top toolbar. You also have more icons when you use symbols, when you actually tap this. You also have text shortcuts. So again, when you type in a word, something else will be able to pop up and you can put anything in there. Uh, and then just a few other small things. So let me know in the comments section below which of these two you use, which ones you like. If you use a different keyboard, let me know. Again, write a comment below the video. But if you guys like this video, make sure you give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.